What you looking at out there now, people of the world, is the majestic, all right, no worries. The majestic mighty river there now, that's the Shannon River there now, lads. She comes down from the top of Ireland the whole way down along the country. So, imagine if you were a, you had a river that's travelling through a couple of different countries, and each country keeps putting a dam on the river. Like, just think about like the Euphrates abroad. You know the Euphrates River now lads, it's all in the Bible about the Euphrates and that's the Shannon River out there, trust me. And all the water comes down the Shannon. Well the Euphrates, the Shannon River is about, about 250 miles long. The Euphrates is 1750 miles long. It runs parallel to the Tigris River. And the Euphrates River is in the Bible. And he says when the Euphrates dries up, the four angels that are trapped under the Euphrates River will be released and then the sixth angel will pour out his bowl right into the Euphrates. Now this video showing you it's like fire pouring out of the sky. And the structures they're finding under Euphrates and this king I suppose they found. But look the Euphrates is drying up anyway and the Euphrates flows parallel with the Tigris and it flows out of the fertile crescent i.e. known as the Garden of Eden and it spoke about in the Bible they call it, God calls it, and Jesus calls it the mighty Euphrates the mighty Euphrates now is drying up and in the book of Revelations they talk about when the mighty Euphrates dries up didn't say how it will dry up, just said it will dry up that the four angels that are locked in their fallen angels under Euphrates will be set free to kill one third of men across the world then the sixth angel he'll pour out his bowl into the Euphrates and poison the rivers and poison one third of all the animals in the sea. And that's what was wrote in the book of Revelation thousands of years ago. And here it is coming to pass. And they'll come up with another excuse. Oh, that's because it dams in the so-called climate change. It doesn't matter. Didn't say how it would happen, just said it would happen. So, yeah. So, know that animal lads, know that. And turn to God, be true to Jesus. Because I'm not messing with you. I'm not one for scaremongering, but we are definitely living in the end times. Just look around and you'll see where the world is. But I do know that there's archaeologists over there working on it, finding old buildings and all. And uh, they're saying there's very strange sounds coming up out of the ground. Strange sounds. The sounds are online because as far as I know, the archaeologist himself recorded them, put them out there. So not the truth. So while they're telling you, look at the, oh, look at the UFOs here, or oh, look at them over there. It's a UFO. But don't look at you, Freddy's over here, drawing up, and don't be looking into the Bible talking about this, because the Bible talks about all these things. Oh, girl. You know, she there they found um, an angel. It looks so real. This looks like a person was put into plaster, and they took a plaster cast of him or something. But uh, and the fellas posted it online in Russia, and the people that owned it, the company didn't say that. Look, them fellas that posted that they shouldn't have posted it. That they didn't dig that angel up. It's been around the around the quarry where they're working. They said they don't know who owns it, but it's there years. So I was thinking. They don't know once, but it's their years. I'll put it in the video so you can see this angel. Very realistic looking. You think this thing is going to walk away and start talking any second. Let me see if I can get my beautiful face on camera. There we go, there, lads. Lake up here. In... Alright, it's a bit on Baltic, is it? Really? Right, boom. <laughs> Good up, boy. Not girl. <laughs> Hang some chickens. Alright, so let's get the gear together. Pick up our rubbish. Let's head on back. It's getting bitter. It's getting Baltic. 
Well, the last ones, right? Say it now, Juan. Go on. catch that, no? What's the name? God bless you, God bless your family. Pa pow! Let us stay right, stay true to Jesus, stay right with God. We're not saints, all we can do is our best. Talk to Jesus, believe in Jesus. And look, he's, Jesus says, you call out to me, and you ask me to help you, I forgive you, and you're willing to do what's right, well, I'm willing to help you. That's where people are, that's where God is. It's in us as well. You could be out hunting animals there, you could be out hunting with say, deer or rabbits or dogs, and you have no problem with it, but as soon as you find an injured one, your heart goes out there, even though you're hunting them all that day and you had no problem with it, shooting them and hunting them, but you find an injured one and all of a sudden it's you put down the gun and you're all about fixing him. I know it's myself because it's in us and I know it's all about it, it does all this crack. God bless you and God bless your family. Pa-pow!